to put this birth certificate matter to rest than the Donald. And that's because he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Did we fake the moon landing? What really happened in Roswell? And where are Biggie and Tupac? All kidding aside, obviously we all know about your credentials and breadth of experience. No, seriously, just recently in an episode of Celebrity Apprentice <laughs> at the Steakhouse, the men's cooking team uh, did not impress the judges from Omaha Steak. And there was a lot of blame to go around, but you, Mr. Trump, recognize that the real problem was a lack of leadership. So ultimately, you didn't blame Little John or Meatloaf. You fired Gary Buse. And these are the kind of decisions that would keep me up at night. I could be reaching on this, but I feel like Barry has a weird a fascination with Trump. Like he might even want him or something. It's very odd that this man always mentioning him in some weird sexual way. Let's not forget that at the DNC for about five to ten minutes, Barry literally talked about the size of Trump private parts for about three to four minutes and how small it was. Like I don't get it. This man has been lying so much about this Kenyan birth certificate that that he feel as though now it has become a conspiracy when we all know in actuality that this person is not even from this country that that individual is a straight foreigner and he is the former grandson of a Rothschild like come on man like they are clearly mocking us talking about need to get back to the thing that's more important as if his fraudulent birth certificate his fraudulent life his fraudulent husband his fraudulent existence isn't on the top of the must know important priority list these individuals literally always try to make it seem like the other side is very incompetent or not as good of a leader and then in the same sense as they want to tell us that we have to take self-accountability we haven't forgot barry that you let the people steal ai biotechnology we have to forget that you are the drone man we have to forget about the blueprints to f-35 we have to forgot about the battleships and space technology let's not forget that barry allow our businesses institutions schools and citizens to invest in china and transfer sensitive ai technology let's not forget that more melanin Teen boys died in 2015 than in the Jim Crow era during the time that Barry Sotoro was in office. Let's also not forget that he brought in this LGBTQRS movement for these individuals because him and Big Mike had it in their mind that they can literally fool the people by making us believe that Mike was a woman and that he had those rented kids. We ain't gonna do too much. Tomorrow I'm gonna drop a video on Malaya and Hunter Biden. And y'all let me know what y'all thoughts is. Y'all let me know does Barry deserve to be the father of the year. Y'all also let me know why do these individuals mock us when we are getting closer to the truth? Is it because they think that we are so foolish not to see the smoke and mirrors? With that being said, if you're functional with me on a monthly, daily, weekly basis, y'all already understand that clear eyes always recognize real lies. And like always, I'm always gonna have more videos. So until next time, I am not here to turn non-believers into believers. I'm only here to bring y'all food for thought. And with that being said, your opinion is your opinion. That way, that part, why do Michael and I also want to acknowledge uh... i mean this dude is a genius